Athena wanted you to have this. So here it is. Good news travel fast. We are Wallo, Lapaju, and Celeste Bono, and we're bringing you positive news from all over the world, the planet, the galaxy. Before we dive into today's stories, make sure you submit your own good news by swiping up if you're listening on Spotify, and your story might get featured on a future episode. You never know. Hey, Wallo. Happy Tuesday. How are you? Happy Tuesday to you as well, Celeste. I am happy you're bringing news from the galaxy because right now I am in Mars. No, I'm kidding. How are you doing? <laughs> well, I mean, your name today is Wall E. Yeah. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Nice. I am ready to talk about manta rays. They scare me. Wow. But. <laughs> They have been under pressure from fishing activity for years and are currently classified wow. as vulnerable species. But apparently, they have found a safe haven in Komodo National Park, a swath of water around Indonesia's Lesser Sunda Islands. A new study has revealed that at least an aggregation of 1,085 reef manta rays are happily swimming around Komodo National Park. Nice. Attracted by the plankton rich waters of the park manta rays gather here to feed breed and clean them themselves nice Just like you wallow we love across the world manta rays. manta rays are targeted for their um gill plates which oh. are used in chinese medicine medicine or accidentally cut as bycatch yeah that happens a lot Indonesia used to have one of the most productive manta ray fisheries, but in 2014, the country pledged to protect both reef manta rays and giant manta rays by making it illegal to catch them or trade any of their body parts. Nice. Despite this move, experts say illegal fishing still takes place in and around Indonesia and that fishers continue to catch manta rays as by catch. They get caught hmm. in nets by accident. Yeah. Tourism is another hazard for the species. Manta rays can get struck by boat hulls and propellers. They're also wow. sensitive to noise and other forms of disturbance. Mm -hmm. So, establishing and enforcing clear guidelines for sustainable tourism could be uh, beneficial here. Ironically yeah. enough, One of the threats they face is their own nature. Manta rays become sexually mature at about 10 years old. Wow. And they tend to have one offspring every two years. In animal wow. world, that's the equivalent of being 40-year-old virgin who has kids every 15 years. <laughs> It's almost like me. <laughs> Researchers are hopeful that the findings of these uh, large aggregations And the addressing of threats within the Komodo National Park will give manta rays enough time to reverse their declining trends. We don't want a yeah, I hope so. virgin manta I hope ray so. virgin. Yeah, that gets caught in boats by accident. I hope oh, not. Oh man, what a life. Ugh. Yeah. Awful. Anyway. Mm. So this startup is literally saying to infinity and beyond. Luna Outpost an advanced technology company based in Colorado, develops mm -hmm. technologies that have both Earth and space applications. It has recently raised $12 million in funding to further the development of a line of robotic lunar rovers. I think we talked about that at a point, but I don't know if it was mm -hmm. them. While their first rover weighs 10 to 20 kilograms, the company is envisioning a larger rover weighing 100 to 200 kilograms capable of operating mm -hmm. for years on the lunar surface. We already have Earth-specific prototypes of that class, said its CEO. What this allows us to do is space rate those technologies and line up a mission or two. That's what the CEO, you, the CEO said. Yeah, it's supposed to be Elon Musk's accent, but like I'm oh. still perfecting it. Yeah, yeah, he has this aloof uh way of speaking besides uh besides developing uh lunar rovers lunar outpost also developed a line of environmental monitors called canary for terrestrial applications that line is profitable and the company would consider using some of the funding to expand those monitors into new markets astroforge another startup based in california raised 13 million dollars to take a fresh look at asteroid mining using proprietary Ooh. technology it claims can enable the mining of platinum group metals from near-Earth asteroids. This is not the first time that asteroid mining will be attempted, though. Companies have tried it in the past and failed. 
Astro Forge no. is confident <laughs> that by starting small, they have a better shot at success. The company's first mission, planned for launch in early 2023, will place a six unique CubeSat into orbit on a SpaceX rideshare mission. Haha, <laughs> I knew Elon was involved. That space craft will carry an asteroid like material that the company will attempt to extract platinum group metals from using its technology. Ah, that was a space mouthful. Okay. Yeah, I don't um, know how to feel about space. I feel like. <laughs> mm, I feel like. Well, we I don't have the space for that. But, like, oh, oh well. All right, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. So, how many cups of coffee do you drink a day? I. Maybe like 0.2 because if i'm taking the average yeah i'm an engineer sorry 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 i take (laughs) i I heard you hissing and i was like oh no (laughs) but yeah you take three at least three Hmm, but okay here's the thing it's that it's that soluble you know we talked about it like it doesn't matter it's too much cough it does matter no with milk Coffee it's, the, it's the crappy yeah 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 it's the crappy coffee but hey okay. nobody cares about that so attention yeah. coffee drinkers after years of being told it's bad for you this is I for tell you, you it's bad for you i'm here to tell you that it is most likely not but you might hmm. want to stay away from artificial sweeteners which is great because i don't hmm. do yeah a study conducted over seven years uh studied the behavior of 170,000 people including their genetics lifestyle, health, and coffee drinking habits. The <laughs> results showed a remarkable 29% lower risk of death in people that drank between 2.5 to 4.5 cups of coffee a day. Man, what? I'm never dying. There was also <laughs> a reduction in death for those who put sugar in their coffee. Oh my god, this is the best news in the world. Oh yeah. no. Um, there was also a reduction in death for those who put sugar in their coffee and drink and drank uh, 1.5 to 3.5 cups a day. I do all of that. Now, I don't know about milk. But mm. don't go chugging that hot pot of coffee down your throat just yet. Scientists I won't. and involved in the study caution that these findings are not conclusive. There yes. may be a correlation, but not causation. However... Dr. Christina Wee, deputy editor of the Annals of Internal Medicine, wrote in an editorial that coffee is most likely not harmful. So drink up. But it would be prudent to avoid too many caramel macchiatos while more evidence yeah. grows. Hmm. This is, I, I'm like hmm. ex- extremely happy with this. Honestly. This goes for you. Nah, I I can do without coffee. I mean, I I take a lot of soda. I should probably stop. Maybe that will kill me. But who knows? Yeah, that's gonna. This kill is good you. news. Traveled fast. I'm about to not talk about that. So yeah, okay. moving on. Have a wonderful, <laughs> have a wonderful uh, Tuesday. Tuesday. And yeah, yeah. I always forget what the day is because you know, the world is yeah, moving Yeah, because so you know. Fast. I'm on See Mars. See you tomorrow. That's why. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. I hope you enjoyed this episode. There will be more great news tomorrow. Good News Travel Fast is a news podcast serving positivity and laughter in daily doses. Oh, but we don't have episodes on the weekends. We actually have to sleep. Don't forget to subscribe and rate us on Spotify, Apple, or wherever you listen to podcasts. This podcast was produced by Matias Rosenberg, creative direction by Josefina Cordova, scripted by Cecilia Mira, and hosted by Wallo Lapaju and Celeste Bono. That's me. This show is supported by Athena. Hire, manage, and retain world-class global talent at athena.io. A brilliant startup like yours needs the best of the best on your team. Are you taking advantage of global talent? Level up your team for more success for only 33% of your usual hiring costs. Go to athena.io right now to learn more. That's A-T-H-Y-N-A dot I-O.